Look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> They... No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but... Well, of course Marston scared rotten. I mean, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no. Not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity, and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing... It's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker. Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. 
You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with... I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something, something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools! Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. The place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here, make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. Melton keeps sending us back every day to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws holed up here. Look, those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around, then. see if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton? I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Worley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful. Arthur! Arthur's here! Oh, Arthur! Oh, you're alive! Just about. <laughs> Come inside. Come on, look it's raining. You. Hey, everybody, look who's here. Hey, y'all doing? Yeah. Hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. <sighs> Howdy. Okay, okay. Hey! <laughs> How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody give me a cup of coffee or something? It was Mrs. Adler who saved us, Dutch. After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we. Oh, you! Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We, we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more interested in escaping the hangmen on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> we buried Hosea Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf oh, of shit. Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar, the United States government,
and the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth. Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let them have it. Everyone get down! Take the other side. You mistook it for a Now I will show strength, and you may mistake it for brutality. There is no escape for any of you. I shall hunt you to the ends of the earth and the end of time. This I killed your friends. really start to irritate you. me. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. And it's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. My best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob. And you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, ten thousand dollars, safe passage out of here. I'll let you go. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man. Noise, Arthur. No. Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. He's been a good boy ever since. <laughs> OK. 
Both of you. 